In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this solar powered beer fridge or soft drinks fridge that consists of a fan, a cooling module or Peltier module, a voltage inverter, and a styrofoam box. Right now, I'm cutting up styrofoam pieces, and uh, it's, it's more difficult to cut than what you think. This is stuff that's used for house insulation. And uh, initially I tried using a serrated knife to cut it and I got totally irregular edges that I couldn't join together with hot glue. So then I tried scoring it with this knife here and then just snapping it and that gave me much straighter edges. So you can see there's a lot of wastage right there, right there where it wasn't cut right. So this one is cut better and I'm joining it up with the hot glue gun. And that seems to be working good. And then what I'm doing is reinforcing the inner edges as well as I'm gonna reinforce the outer edges with more hot glue. So I should get a fairly good insulating layer. The styrofoam box part is finished. This is the Peltier module I'm using. And these things can draw a lot of, of current at 12 volts. Okay. Current draw is 9.6 amps, which is what I kind of expect. The cooling uh, unit or Peltier unit is in the lid. The top part is a big CPU fan that is contacting the hot surface of the Peltier unit which is the unmarked surface and then the bottom part of the Peltier unit is contacting this um, heat exchanger on the bottom and then that's got a fan on it so there's a, fa a fan on the bottom and there's a fan on the top and this one blows heat off the heat exchanger and this one blows cold air into the box and those two fans are 12 volt fans and they run off this little buck uh, converter that's also connected to the 12 volt power supply so basically that's your, your lid and your lid sits on top of the box like that The hot and cold surfaces of the Peltier module are in good thermal contact using plenty of heat sink paste and you, you, it's best to use the one that comes in tubes like this. The fan on the, the, fan on the bottom is an Antec case fan and this runs off of 12 volts and it's got different settings. See that little toggle switch there? You can set it on low, medium and high, so I've just set it on low. And let me just show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Okay, it's all coated in foil and reinforced with some aluminum tape. And i uh, got the lid, which I'm going to use as the regular lid for it. And I've got one warm, it's kind of like 80 degrees, a can of coconut juice in there. So I'm going to place this on top. Here's the unit in action with a um, computer power supply on the left, running at 12 volts. And I've got an extra can on the right to act as a control so we can check to see if it's really cooling down the contents of the fridge. So we'll come back in a few hours and see what the difference in temperature of the two cans is with our digital uh, thermometer. I'm getting uh, 20.4 degrees with the one that's outside. The one that's inside I'm getting about 11 degrees so it's cooled it down uh, pretty well. Just check that again. About 10 degrees or so, 10 to 11 degrees. Now that we've shown that this can work off a computer power supply, we're going to check it with a set of solar panels once the sun is bright. Here's the solar powered beer cooler in action. I've got some afternoon sun here got a couple of panels you could probably just use one if it was midday sun but I'm using two since it's afternoon kind of low angle sun here's the beer cooler in action here I've already cooled a batch of beer bottles with it worked well so here's my fan running and if you want instructions on how to make this unit please don't uh, hesitate to drop me a line there it is folks thanks for watching